What do you think about mandates to wear masks? I have been resisting, uh, resistant to it because that's my default position whenever I see what might be expansion of state power. Now I'm questioning that. I'm, I'm against mandates to wear masks, government mandates. The government should not mandate wearing masks unless, you know, in a government facility. But you, the government ha cannot, should not mandate wearing masks. But of all the things to resist, this is what drives me nuts. The government mandates you pay 50% of your income. We play along. The government mandates that you pay property tax, otherwise they'll confiscate your home. And we play along. The government mandates that you can't get a drug because it hasn't been proved to the nth degree to be, to be able to cure your disease that you're dying of anyway. And we just play along. The government mandates a million different things that you do every day and you just succumb, you just... You just, you know, lay down and let them tromp all over you. But God forbid they mandate you wear a mask. That's where you're going to draw the line? I mean, at least in the Tea Party era, they tried to draw the line on socialized medicine. All right, that's a real issue. But here the line is being drawn in a way as to hurt yourself because it's rational to wear a mask it makes sense to wear a mask it's like a seat belt now do I like the fact that the government mandates seat belts no all right I'm gonna I'm gonna ask that you guys stop sending super chat questions uh, unless you're willing to have me answer them in different day, another day because I can't do any more today so do I, do I like the fact that the government mandates me not wearing a seatbelt? Me wearing a seatbelt? No, I don't like the fact that the government mandates it. But am I not going to wear a seatbelt just to go nah to the government? No, because <laughs> it makes sense to wear a seatbelt. And the mask is exactly the same thing. It makes sense to wear a mask, not because Trump told you. God, the one reason I wouldn't wear a mask is because Trump now embraces masks. But because it just makes sense. If you're sick and, you, and, and there's stuff coming out of your mouth that might make somebody else sick, then why would you want to make somebody else sick? If you wear a mask, the, 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 the stuff in your mouth can't reach them. And if somebody else is not wearing a mask and spewing his viruses all over the place, the mask is not a perfect barrier, but it's a barrier. It reduces the likelihood you will get the virus and reduces the likelihood you'll get a virus in a load, and a viral load that'll make you very sick. So there's just no medical scientific argument not to wear a mask. And finally, if you look at Asia, where the virus has not had a massive impact, then Everybody wears masks. And you think that's an accident? You think it's an accident that everybody's wearing masks? And now they've dealt with it in other ways much better than the U.S. and much better than the West. But look at South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, the oldest population in the world. Highly concentrated in a city. Lots of public transportation. Very few deaths from coronavirus. Why? To some extent, I think, it's because not all, to some extent, because they wear masks. So stop being such a tribalist and stop thinking for yourself. And yes, the government mandated, and they shouldn't. All right. But that's not where you draw the line. This is where you're going to fall on your sword. Literally, you're going to commit suicide because the government mandated that you do something you should do anyway. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. Right. 
All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes but uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. Not sure when the next...